Okay. Well, we just got the flat motor back in the rat rod. Uh, it almost fell off the stand we had it on, but we saved it. Um, put the transmission back together on the back of it. Got the starter plate on. I got to put the starter on yet. Uh, that's that assembly is basically signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm working on. Uh, we have the starter, which goes there. That goes right in. Should be no, nothing else to do with that. We have the steering column back in. Going to have to locate some pedals. The pedal fixture. It's here somewhere, yeah, here's the pedal. This is the brake pedal. The clutch pedal goes on it. Uh, that's still in the crown. The clutch is still in the crown, but it goes with this assembly. And this assembly is going to get bolted to the inside of that firewall, and that's going to be the brake and the clutch. Um, we have to just center it around that steering column uh, as far as right and left goes, and we can move the pedals wherever they have to be. Um, intake manifolds all done and ready to set on. We've got it setting on there, but um, I'm going to change the gasket underneath that. I need the fuel pump, the fuel pump rod yet, and some bolts the correct length. I've got all the fronts ready for alternator and uh, uh, fan pulley and the belt. Those are all set. They've, they've already been on. They're, everything works. I've got the distributor in. It is set and ready to go. Um, got number one I've got the timing mark set and I've got number one cylinder marked on the distributor. When I run the wires, this, this one goes here and then according to the firing order in clockwise direction, the others will get cut and, and routed to their respective cylinder. I've got to put plugs in it yet also. Uh, headers, the, the economy headers, we bought the right side is going to work. We have stepped them up to two inch for the mufflers. This side is a little tighter on the steering box. But uh, I got a little to work with. I'm going to put a little bit of a bend in the end of it when we step it up to two inch, and that should get us by that that box without a problem. Um, another thing I've got to uh, do down here is put this hydraulic cylinder on. I'm making that bracket right now and drilling it for that hole spacing on those two holes on the bell housing. Uh, that header's got to go by that also. So that all that stuff has to be done, and we we'll do the header last on this side. To make sure it works. Um, this is good. That's a hydraulic clutch cylinder, slave cylinder. Um, that's about it. Uh, we've put it together. Uh, the triple we have triple loose linkage. That's progressive linkage. Uh, this is the the end of the throttle pedal from the inside of the car. There's a rod that goes from there that connects to the center carburetor down here. As that pulls, this linkage works, and you've got this much this much carburetor on, uh, on just on, with that much you know that much throttle and then the minute you go beyond that the other two carburetors open up and they all reach wide open throttle at the same time. Um, that's for the, the three two barrel otherwise you're running on one barrel one carburetor for that much throttle right there and then when you want to go fast you open them up and the end carburetor just dump gas and, and air and you're off and running to the races. So we're coming along pretty good. Uh, I've got uh, a few other minor things to take care of right now. I'm trying to get that clutch, the hydraulic clutch cylinder mounted. Uh, and then once we do that, we're going to put the pedals in and uh, start doing the brakes, hooking the brake lines up to the to the, uh, ro uh, the calipers and uh, the drums. And that's really not too far away. Uh, I've got an inquiry into Ron Francis Wireworks for a retro kit, a wiring kit for it. Um, all he needs to know is how it's, what we're going to run. We're not going to run air, we're not going to run a heater. It's going to be a, a bare bones unit, uh, a just very minor wiring kit, just enough to make the lights work. And that's about it, because there ain't going to be anything else in it. Uh, it's going to be simple, simple, simple. Um, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to finish putting this motor together uh, just so it's buttoned and sealed up. And then we got to bring that radiator over and set that radiator and grill between the front of that motor and that cross member. And we have to establish a height for it. Once we have that height, then we'll build a, it's going to be a saddle, a uh, saddle shaped cross member of some sort to drop down and locate that, that grill and radiator. Uh, and I've got to have a fan blade in the front here also. 
which uh, I know how to make. It's just a matter of getting a blade of the right diameter. I think I'm going to use about an 18 inch blade and I have to make a hub spacer, an adapter to fit my fan pulley. Once we do that, then we can really locate the radiator fore and aft and know exactly where it's going to sit. Then we'll build that cross member, finish it, drill it, put it in place, it'll be bolted in. Uh, at that point we can take it all apart, get the front cross member and the shock stands and headlight stands back off, finish painting all that stuff for priming it, and then put it all back together again and continue with the build. Uh, that's about it for now.